Hi everyone, this is Brian. I work for a company called Red Hat, which is a company known for its open source technologies, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and the cloud and middleware offering. In this video, you're going to learn four different ways to learn Kubernetes locally. So what do I mean by learn Kubernetes locally? Well, if you know Kubernetes, Kubernetes is an open source orchestration platform for containers, like container like Docker or Podman, and developed by Google. It offers an open source system, system for automating deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. Learning Kubernetes often means that you need a cloud environment, but learning a Kubernetes cluster locally is tremendously, tremendously helpful. So what are some benefits of a local Kubernetes cluster? Well, if you try for Kubernetes for the first time, you can try quickly try Kubernetes before deciding to choose it as a primary option so you can evaluate it to deploy application. But if you're used to Kubernetes, it's still helpful because it's separating your production environment from the local environment. So set it up as a local environment before pushing anything to the public cloud, thus allowing separation between the environment versus production environment. So in here, this video, you're going to see four different Kubernetes uh, platform or tool that offer local environment and they all based on open source Apache 2 license. We are going to, you're going to see the Minikube, which is most uh, well known and famous one. Its primary goal is to be best tool for local Kubernetes application and to support all Kubernetes features that fit. And you're going to see the kind which is a tool for learning local Kubernetes cluster using Docker container node. And the Minishift. Minishift is provided by Red Hat. is a tool that helps you learn OpenShift locally by learning a single node's OpenShift cluster inside VM. This is very similar to the Kubernetes container. Only thing really different between Minishift and Kubernetes container is that Kubernetes container is the one that offers OpenShift 4, which is the latest version as it is now while the mini ship is still open shift three. So let's go to let's see the mini cube first. So to see the mini cube and then download it, you go to the mini cube the website shown here and then it has an explicit documentation what to do, how to install and so forth. Very well written documentation. So now once you install you're going to see the mini cube is just simple as mini cube and start and it will bring up the mini cube environment. You have to wait for a few minutes to open and running. So once the mini cube is up, you can use it as a CLI, but there's also dashboard available by typing mini cube dashboard and it will you can explore it and there's so you are user interface is available. So I deployed Kuber before, so I had created a um, tutorial video how to use mini uh, Kuber, so check it out. So strength of a mini cube is for the latest Kubernetes release, plus six previous minor version, is closed platform Linux, Mac OS, Linux Windows. Deploy as a virtual machine container or better metal. Multiple container runtime, CLIO, container D, Docker, Docker API endpoint but blazing fast image pushes. As a advanced feature such as load balancer, file system, this by system mount and feature gate, an add-on for easily install Kubernetes application. So next thing you're gonna see is a kind. Kind website is shown here. When you go there, it also has nice documentation, how to start, how to install, etc. So it's very well, very well written documentation, so be sure to check it out. So once you install kind, you can just simply by typing kind create cluster. You can also provide configuration file, but simply ways to start with it just using that command. It will wait for a while, and then you want to bring up the cluster. So most of the times you want to interact the uh, kind with the, the CLI. It doesn't have dashboard as I'm aware of, but it's just you can use a QBCTL, which is a CLI, to interact with the uh, kind. So 
So I had a kubectl installed before. I can type kubectl cluster info context client, bring the cluster info. I can see the, um, I can type kubectl get pod to see the pod. I don't have anything installed yet. And I can say the game name please to see if there's any name space available. So kind, strings of kind are shown here. Kind support multi-node, including HA, is known for high availability clusters. Kind support building Kubernetes release build on the source. It support the make, bash, docker, or bezel, in addition to pre-published build. It support, kind support Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, that's pretty much everything. And kind is a CNCF. Cloud Native Computing Foundation Certified Conformant Kubernetes Installer. Let's go and see, let's see the mini shift. So mini shift is the URL you can see here. It basically provide Red Hat OpenShift 3 environment. And then, then it has a, you can, you can learn it locally. It has a good documentation, how to install and how to, you know, do many things operation with it. So I have a mini shift installed already. So I can just type mini shift help and I can just type mini shift star to do the mini shift locally. So strength of mini shift is that mini shift the tool that helps learn open shift locally by learning a single node push cluster inside a VM. It learns the entire enterprise level for needs open shift 3.x and ease of deployment and management. So let's take a look at code ready container, known as CRC. So code ready container is URL shown here, is in the GitHub page. So it has some documentation here and there. But if you want a more detailed documentation, you can go to the website shown here as explicit. So it does require quite a lot of resource. So make sure to allocate enough resource. And then if you need to have a pretty good mach powerful machine to install this. So I have a CRC installed already. So I just type CRC hyphen hyphen health. And then CRC, make sure to allocate no resource again, and then just type CRC start. This should take a quite much time because it has a lot of uh, information and data to bring underneath. So, but it will take a while and just get a, please get a cup of coffee or tea and then to wait for it up and running. Once it is just started, it should give it like username Qvert. Uh, queue admin and also use your and password for that so to log in So then you should bring the dashboard like this you can also interpret the CLI But it should the username should be default username is cube admin and you can type a password login And you can explore different dashboard looks pretty cool, right? This is open sheet 4 so it's pretty nice so strength of code rate container is it brings the minimal OpenShift 4 cluster to your local computer, provide a minimum environment for development and testing purpose. Code rate container is mainly target learning on developers desktop. So that's it. How was it? I hope you had a good um, learning experience about different four different ways to learn Kubernetes on local computer. And then yeah. And that will give you a nice environment for to set up Kubernetes environment before deploying it into production. Anyway, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and hopefully see you next time. Bye.